what your gym music says about you. You can tell a lot about someone based on what kind of music they listen to in the gym, and we are gonna discover that in this video. If you guys want a part two to this video, or there's an artist that I didn't cover and you would like to see in the next video, let me know in the comments, drop a like on this video, and without further ado, let's get into it. If you listen to Future in the gym, the only thing that you are repping is for the low life. A typical workout for you consists of three sets of putting your main chick and side chick in the same group chat, 15 reps of telling girls you love them just to make them get attached, and a like 10 minutes of hitting on girls when their boyfriend is next to them at the end of your workout. The fact that you can find motivation from someone rapping, if she catch me cheating, I won't never tell her sorry, and got my baby mama and my side bitch kissing is both concerning and impressive. Your favorite form of cardio is running from child support, and you are so good at it now, you could probably complete a marathon. This person will take your bench and your girl all in the same workout. Stay safe out there, guys. Sensational. If you listen to country music of any kind at the gym, you are a different breed. The ability to find motivation from someone singing about their big green tractor and a six-pack of Budweiser is astonishing. You more than likely drive your lifted pickup truck to the gym, and instead of pre-workout, opt for a nice pinch of wintergreen grizzly. Your favorite exercise is farmer's carries. Eh. And your pair of weightlifting shoes are just your cowboy boots. Gotta keep it classy. If you listen to Drake at the gym, you're definitely the type of guy to say, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, when your gym pass doesn't work. You're the type of guy to accidentally hurt themselves and then say to the person next to you, I guess that's just how the cookie crumbles. You're definitely the type of guy to ask other people if they need to use your machine when they're not even close to you. You're the type of guy who bites their lip when checking themselves out in the mirror. The type of guy who says, no more Mr. Nice Guy, to hype themselves up before a set. The same type of guy to unironically ask, is there room for two when someone's on a machine? The type of guy to say, let me squeeze on in here when trying to put your weights back. The same type of guy to make eye contact with other people while drinking out of the water fountain. You're the type of guy to pick the smaller of two dumbbells and say to the person next to you, better safe than sorry. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> I'm done now. If you listen to Nickelback in the gym, you're probably someone who gets an unnecessary amount of hate. Your workouts are probably solid, but you still get hate for no good reason. So what if your motivation is wanting to be a rock star, live in the hills, and drive 15 cars? There's nothing wrong with that. You're probably the type of person who's very misunderstood, and people won't see that until later on in life. I mean, Nickelback makes great music. Why do people hate on them? It just doesn't make any sense. They have so many good songs. People just hate for no reason. It's just like a trend. It's a trend to hate on Nickelback when they really make good music. They're misunderstood. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, <clears throat> sorry for, uh, for that rant. Let's just... Move on to the next one. If you listen to The weekend while at the gym, you are probably a sex addict who works out their frustrations by lifting weights. The fact that you can just hit a PR to someone singing in your ear, do you like the way I flick my tongue or nah, is disturbing. You more than likely go to the gym just to look good naked and spend more time in the locker room looking at yourself than actually lifting weights. Your favorite exercise is calling up your sneaky link while sitting on a machine for 10 minutes. And for cardio, you enjoy swimming, but not in a pool. Take that any way you want to. If you listen to the Joe Rogan experience while at the gym, you don't think you're better than everyone else. You know you're better than everyone else. While everyone else is wasting their life away listening to music while they work out, you are becoming enlightened. You most likely spend a large portion of your workout questioning whether the exercise you're doing is optimal and how you can make it better. You perform exercises that you have mostly made up so that you can test the effects it has on your body. Your favorite exercise is telling other people in the gym that you listen to the Joe Rogan experience. You're probably the type of person to correct other people's form in the gym not to help them but to make them feel inferior to anyone who doesn't listen
listen to the Joe Rogan experience, you just wouldn't get it. It's not a phase, it's a way of life. You just gotta open up that third eye of truth. If you listen to Jack Harlow in the gym, your only reason for working out is to try to pick up girls. You see your gym membership as a tool to be able to talk to women, and you more than likely have multiple gym memberships to fulfill this. Your favorite gym to go to is Planet Fitness, and you mainly do cardio because it's right next to the girls' locker room. Your favorite exercise to do is hip thrusts, but on the leg extension machine, and you try and make eye contact with girls while doing it. You definitely do sumo deadlifts and wear questionably short shorts, even when it's not leg day. This one is also not a phase. And finally, if you listen to nothing while at the gym, you're probably a serial killer, you just might not know it yet. Deep down, you like that most gyms play terrible music because it feeds your main source of life, anger. You always wear a hat with a hoodie over it, no matter what the weather is. You can probably deadlift over five plates and enjoy that it causes you back pain. Your gym pass likely expired months ago, but the employees are too scared to say anything to you. You normally get to the gym at the prime hour of 3 a.m. and stay there until you have lifted your demons away. You see eye contact as a challenge in the gym and behave accordingly when tested. No one has ever asked you how many sets you have left because they value their life, and you more than likely dry scoop pre-workout with no water. If you see one of these people at your gym, I recommend do not engage and contact your local authorities. And that is it for this video. Again, if you want a part two, or there's an artist that I didn't get to in this video, leave a comment down below and let me know how accurate I was on all of these different artists. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. I will see you guys next Sunday with a brand new video. So make sure you are subscribed. And until then, I am out. Peace.